What's going on guys? I'm Steve Ludwig, the insurance man. Uh, this morning I am wanting to talk to you guys about the cost associated with your first DUI. So, as you can imagine, there are a multitude of different things that go cost affiliation wise with a DUI. Um, I'm going to add up some of the different things and then talk about where your money essentially could have been spent. So, Everything starting from the top to bottom on here. You have on towing charges. When you initially get in trouble, you have towing charges. You're looking at $100 to $1,200, depending on where you're at. Um, it could be as much as $1,200. We're going to err on the higher side because you know nobody's trying to give you discounts when you're in trouble. Uh, after that, in the impound lot, and most of the time you have to spend at least 24 hours in jail when you're cited for an offense like that. In most cities, most counties, most states, you have to end up spending at least 24 hours on lockdown before they'll let you or release you. So you're gonna be paying between 75 to $150 a day in impound. Um, you're gonna probably have a couple hundred dollars racked up there. Um, court costs, you're looking at between 75 and $200. You're a defense attorney. Uh, remember, this is the first time around, right? So most of the time, there's over an 80% reoffender rate. So attorneys only go up in doubling costs with that. You're looking at $1,000 to $5,000. You need to probably look at a little bit higher toward the $5,000 side on an attorney. Again, no discounts really are going to be taken into effect. So unless you have a family member or somebody that can step up for you, uh, that's probably what you're going to be paying. As far as bail fees, you're looking at $150 to $2,500 on that. First conviction fee, $250 to $1,200. Jail fees, $100 to $150. You are looking at DUI treatment, such as SATOP, diversion programs, victim impact panels. You're looking at $150 to $2,000 with those. You have probation officers and things that you got to pay for. Uh, treatment, weekend programs, uh, education. Basically, they sit you in a class for an hour, make you feel like crap on the in, in victim impact panel, and hopefully you don't end up being a reoffender on that. Uh, you have the ignition interlock rental, which is about $700 to $1,200, depending on where you go. Uh, I do want to add in this that we, at Select Insurance Group, we do have a relationship with Intoxlock. So if you are looking for a cheaper deal on that, um, go to select sr22insurance.com forward slash intoxilock um, for savings options on that. Um, we also highly recommend intoxilock. They're a good, good company to go together with that. Um, you also have the auto insurance increase, right? So $500 to $1,500 because no matter how you look at it, you are now classified as a high risk driver. So you're gonna be spending $500 to $1,500 more per year, per year that you're gonna be spending that. And then after three to five years, that stuff kind of starts dissipating off your record. Uh, they still take it into account, but that's what it is. Uh, license reinstatement, you're looking at $100 to $200. I've never personally heard of anybody getting their license reinstated for $100, so you're probably looking at $200 minimum with that. That brings us to a total grand cost of $15,700 if you're taking the highest level. Again, that's probably what you're gonna be paying. $15,700. What could you have done with $15,700? Could you have gone on a amazing cruise up into the, uh, you know, into the Northern United States, up into Alaska? Could you have gone, traveled the country? Uh, could you gotten yourself a, uh, a, a newer car? Could you have uh, put a down payment on something, spent it on college tuition? Who knows? You could have spent this on anything and everything that you can think of, all because of one night, one mistake that cost you ultimately $15,700. Not including, you also have, many times, loss of freedom. You have property damage that many times occurs in these type of things. You also have possible loss of job. They don't take too kindly, especially if you drive for a living to somebody that gets a DUI. Um, broken relationships, you know, that if you got into an accident, cause injury or accident, serious injury, lives, criminal records, those kind of things that, that busts up families and things. So 
Um, the moral of the story on here is do not drink and drive. Find yourself a sober driver to be able to get you home. There are lots of resources, taxi cabs, Ubers, Lyfts. Uh, there's tons of different places that you can be able to go that you will spend a whole lot less than $15,700. Make sure you arrive alive home. But for more information and tips just like this, follow us online at YouTube or Facebook Select Insurance Group. Thanks again.